All right, I am here with Winter, the victor of the last game. Uh, you know, coming right in against one of the Grandmasters. Uh, I know you said you maybe felt a little rusty. I mean, how does that make you feel going 2-0 right out the gates? I'm never rusty. <laughs> you've, you've got the anti-rust coating? If I need it. I, I, was, I was really happy to see that we had some competition here today. Yeah, looking at the bracket, we've it's a pretty stacked bracket. Um, a lot of Grandmasters and well-known people. So, you know, you've been, uh, I know you've been doing a lot of Legacy of the Void content lately. Uh, you know, how does it feel to come back into some of the classic Heart of the Swarm and, uh, you know, maybe some predictions for the day? Well, it's kind of like how, you know, you like break in the shoes kind of deal. Like you're just slipping back into those shoes and then you're kicking noobs in the face is pretty much all you're doing. So, All right. Confident as usual. That's fair to say. Fair to say. So uh, a, a couple of those uh, games there were with them pretty pretty quick, pretty intense uh, ling battles. Um, have you been practicing anything in particular? You look pretty fresh. You know, that was, uh, that was some good games. Have you been practicing anything in particular in preparation for today? ZVZ and ZVT. Uh, I'm, I'm, well, let's put it this way. I'm very confident. I'll dance all day. And I was very happy he decided to go Ling Bane against me because I would... I am very happy and very confident going against Ling Bane. If he had gone something like Roaches, or if he had tried to draw a game out past five minutes, maybe not, but I was happy with it. Uh, I noticed you did not say Protoss. If you're, if you're familiar with some of the people we've seen around here, there are some moderately well-known Protosses. So uh, what do you have in store for us in the eventual ZVP? I'll surprise myself, I'm sure. And we'll find out when it comes to it. All right, all right. Well, it's good to have you back and uh, a good, good fresh start. I mean, that was a, uh, a pretty commanding. I think everyone is pretty, pretty much saying that uh, you're you're in good form. And uh, anything, uh, any, what have you been up to for the past year? It's been a while. Uh, I, I play StarCraft all day. That's that's about it. Uh, obviously, you play StarCraft all day. What? Okay, so let me give you a little more specific. What, uh, going to the Legacy of the Void a bit, what is uh, most exciting to you about Legacy of the Void coming up? I'm excited for all the changes that make, like, automated tournaments. Uh, the new units are pretty exciting. I like Archon Mode a lot. I'm having, we're having an Archon Mode tournament tomorrow, from what I hear, or is it today? That's if you make it into the top four, though, right? We're having an Archon Mode tournament. Um, and... I'm having a lot of fun with Archon Mode. Me and Zan are doing pretty well. Zan's here. I'm actually 29 and 2 with M Canning because Protoss is perfectly balanced. Uh, <laughs> but uh, Legacy of the Void, I, I'm really, I, I've heard from Blizzard. They're still looking to support it. It's not a dead game yet. Not yet. Uh, I'm excited to go into Legacy of the Void. Uh, hitting the ground running, I guess you could say. Absolutely. Well, you certainly hit the ground running in today's tournament. We're excited to see that. So good luck to you coming on up. And uh, some people in the chat wanted to have an interview with our our friend here, the the fat cat chef, Barcode. Uh, so if we can get him to come on over for a second. Yeah, we're done with you, Winner. You can you can go away. <laughs> so uh, so welcome, first of all. Uh, this is your first Yomacon. You've had one game. Unfortunately, went down 2-0. Uh, um, how does that make you feel? It's kind of I feel bad asking. <laughs> I feel bad asking you that, but how do, how do you feel coming into that? Well, it's pretty fun because Winter's the champion here, so you know what better way to go down than to the champ and probably ride my way through the losers bracket in the corner over there. You know, um, the DPI settings were a little fucked up for me, uh, but <laughs> other than that. I mean, everything else is all right. The land's really nice. Uh, Detroit's really nice, actually. Last time I came to Detroit was for Red Bull, and now it's pretty. I was pretty out there, but yeah. I mean, overall, good games. Uh, Got to fix some settings next time. Maybe do something better, you know. But it was fun. I had fun, you know. So you came from a long ways away. Uh, have you New Jersey? So have you? Uh, what have you been doing? When did you get here? And what have you been doing before uh, coming to the con? I got here yesterday at around 12 a.m. I left my house around 10 in the morning, and that drive was just so bad. Trucks everywhere, and then at night it's even worse too. You know, it's just hard to drive at night. But I'm just happy I made it a day, you know, in advance, so I got the sleep. I'm not sleep deprived or anything. Very good. So, uh, so tell us. Um, you know, we were talking a little bit earlier. For those that may not be exactly familiar, tell us a little bit about what you do and what you're up to. 
Oh, uh, I manage I manage three teams so far. I'm about to make the announcement right now on live stream. I'll do it right now just for uh, Rival Gaming. So I am officially leaving Endurance Esports as it falls after HOTS is dead. And I will be moving to Rival Gaming as a full-time manager and sponsor manager. And before that, I managed Templar Gaming, my first team. And I also managed for Endurance as well. And uh, what uh, what kind of project goals, or what do you what do you hope to do with the the new team? Well, with the new team, it's mostly just getting the sponsors, and then after getting the sponsors, it's going to become more or less getting the funds, getting the uh, the players' jerseys, salary, hopefully if they get better in Legacy of the Void, and more tournaments. You know, we could use a lot more tournaments weekly. SEV Rush, we might be trying to work with them. I also spoke to you guys about it, possibly starting up something really nice. You know. Because weekly tournaments, you know, put money in players' pockets, they keep playing the game, and the game doesn't die, and then people keep watching, you know? It's great. Yeah, absolutely. We definitely need more more content producers to come out in the community. It seems like some of them have kind of been going other ways, but others others have come out and kind of made a name for themselves. Uh, I mean, look at um, Base Trade TV. At one point, they, that's, that's how they started. That was their bed, bread and butter. I actually went there to the uh, Base Trade TV live event. Oh, my God. Beautiful. Beautiful, I have to say. It was worth the 15-hour uh, bus ride I took up there. <laughs> well, it's good to, good to see you here today and glad to hear about the things you're doing. And hopefully we'll see you again here as we move on through the tournament. All right. Thank you so much. Have a good day. All right, everybody. We'll have... Uh, what, what's your gamer tag? Okay, we're going to have Puck. <laughs> I mean, he's sitting right here. I can talk to him, right? We're going to have Puck versus Game Time coming up here in just a moment for you on stage. They're getting set up, so we'll be right back.